Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Saturday, March 25th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across, like Camelot, where the snow may never slush upon the hillside. Hmm, I've never heard this before. Like Camelot, I guess they're talking about King Arthur? Hmm, interesting. A big fan of... A big fan of... Hmm... Eat quickly. Well, it's not snarf. What could this be? Bit of pentathlon equipment. Pentathlon. I'm not sure what events are in the pentathlon. Do you use an epe? I'm not sure. There you blank. There you are. Some pigeon perches. Well, this could be a lot of things. Or don't. Whatever works for you. An equivalent phrase. It's not I don't care. Hmm. Who says, contrary wise, if it was so, it might be. And if it were so, it would be. But as it isn't, it ain't. <laughs> this sounds like something from Wonderland. Hmm. Who could have spoken this? It's not the March Hare or the Mad Hatter. Interesting. I'm not sure. Only repeat in the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, okay, so how does the Fibonacci sequence go? It goes 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, right? So it's got to be 1. Let's see here. A big fan of. Maybe that's into. Eat quickly. Hmm. Maybe this is Epe. Uh, maybe this is ideal. Yeah, Camelot is kind of an ideal. Maybe this is down. There we go. So maybe this is either Tweedledee or Tweedledum. We just had one of them on a puzzle a few days ago. Hmm. Let's see if this is a U or an E. Red state. I think that's going to be I or you're angry. So this is Tweedledee. Figure descending a staircase in a Duchamp painting. That would be nude descending a staircase, right? Fermi for one. Is that a unit? I want to say it might be. Advice from a sci-fi mentor. Is this Obi-Wan Kenobi? Is this use the force? That's really funny. Club beginnings. And this is wordplay, so I don't think this is about founding a club that you can be a member of. What other kind of clubs could this be? I guess it could be golf clubs. Uh, I don't know what would go before a golf club, though. Hmm... Maybe this is tea times. That would be the beginning of a round of golf at a golf club. That's very clever. Okay, so maybe this is no pressure. Some pigeon perches. I guess that's the ledges. It's very generic. Old school tablet. I guess that's a slate. Yeah, they're not talking about an iPad. Midway point. And this is wordplay, so it's not going to be about being halfway between two endpoints. I think a midway is a place also. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it must have a gate. I want to say it's like a boardwalk, but I might be way off there. Let's see. Breaking bad substance, that's definitely meth. Facility that deals with change. I wonder if this is being tricky. This could be talking about coins, right? That kind of change. What facility would deal with coins? It's not a bank. Hmm, interesting. Common request at a bar. Hmm. Is this about a bar that serves drinks? I don't know. Home to the world's smallest bird. The bee hummingbird, which measures just 2.25 inches. I've never heard of this bird before. 
I wonder if it's Hawaii. Could it be Oahu? Crowning moment. I wonder if that's an apex? I don't know. Traffic sign near a jug handle, maybe. Is this a kind of road? I've never heard of a jug handle before. What can follow, follow, sneak, or check? Follow up on, sneak up on, check up on. Very tricky. Not just a little sip. I wonder if it's a glug? Certain hacker. Oh my god. I don't even know if they're talking about a computer hacker here. Hmm. I don't know. It's not Oahu. Crowning moment. Maybe it is an apex. Hacker. Maybe this is an axe that would hack wood. Uh, hmm. Traffic sign. Yeah, I don't know about that. Facility. It really seems like it wants to be a bank, but this is definitely meth. Hmm. Let's come back to that once we get this long across answer. Ticket prices. And this is wordplay. So I guess it's not about buying a ticket to a show. Ticket prices. It feels like it wants to be fares, but that feels like a straightforward answer. Hmm. Maybe it's fines. That would be a ticket you would get for speeding. Yeah, that makes more sense as a wordplay answer. Fake. Maybe that's bogus. Super fans purchase. Hmm. What kind of super fan are we talking about? It's not like season tickets. Temple buildings. Hmm. What would be another word for a building that's part of a temple? I'm not sure. It's at the end of Oedipus. Is this talking about the play or the actual word Oedipus? Hmm. I'm not sure. Some video game rewards. It seems like this should start with bonus. It's not bonus lives. Hmm. Tech for 1970s TV characters Steve Austin and Jamie Summers. Tech. Was this the six million dollar man? I want to say maybe it was. Um, maybe it's like bionics? Maybe this is the bionic man. Those were different things, right? I came a little bit after the 70s, so this is all a little bit hazy for me. Commercial fellow. Commercial. I wonder if this is ad speak for a fellow? Hmm. Certain deer. Maybe that could be does, although TD? Oh boy, that seems bad. Dweller on the Musandam Peninsula. I've never heard of this peninsula before. Ancient Nahuatl speaker. Uh, is this Aztec? That does fit. I think that might be right. House of Lords members. Wouldn't that be MPs? Hmm. Sharp, shrill sound. That could be a lot of things. Advance slowly, is that ooze? Modern meeting setting. It's not Zoom. Oh boy. Um, I wonder if a bunch of these answers are wrong. This is looking like it might be Omani though. That would fit very nicely. Uh, meeting setting. It starts with an M? Commercial fellow. Oh boy. I'm gonna take out Doze. I don't think that's helping. Um, hmm. What's another word for deer, though? What was this again? Common request at a bar. Hmm. I'm still not sure if it's about drinks. Response to a wild story. Hmm. Boy, temple buildings, 
tech for time travel in Back to the Future. That's definitely the flux capacitor. That's a really fun answer. I love that. Okay, super fans purchase. Maybe that's box seats? Would that make sense? Temple buildings. Saturday Night Live alum Nora. Do I know this? I'm not sure if I know this person. Renaissance Fair title. Title. Um, it's not Lord or Lady. Hmm. What an actor might do before the evening show. Before the evening show. So is this in theater? What might they do? I don't know. Mean. Maybe that's the average? Oh, that doesn't fit. Hmm. Maybe this is about being mean to another person? Tight. Oof, there's so many options here. Something to get rid of once it's worn. <laughs> worn out your welcome? I don't know. Offering at a shrine, perhaps. Hmm. This could probably be a lot of things, too. Like many pools at the base of waterfalls. Oof, I don't know, Rocky? It could be a lot of things also. Musical with a preteen title character. It seems like that should be Annie. Does that help? Mean. Hmm. It could start with un. Tight. Oh boy. Renaissance Fair, man. We are having trouble today. Out of my way, I'll handle this. An equivalent phrase. Hmm. This is a very brusque phrase. I don't know. Software surprises named for holiday treats. Holiday treats? It's not Trojan horses. Is it some kind of cookie? Software surprises. Shouldn't that be Easter eggs? Oh, so this is not box seats. Okay. This should be Easter eggs. Okay. Um, it's not box sets. What in the world? The cat's pajamas. I guess that could be neat. Principal behind yin and yang. That should be Tao. The deceptively named tarantula hawk for one. So I guess it's probably neither a tarantula nor a hawk. I wonder what it is gonna be. Hmm. Some video game rewards. That could be bonus points, right? Okay. Co-star and co-writer of Bridesmaids. Co-star. Well, there was a lot of stars. Hmm. I'm not sure who this is gonna be. Departure announcement, and this is wordplay, so I don't think it's a departure announcement at the airport. I think this is going to be an announcement that someone has departed the mortal plane. That'll be an obit, or an obituary. That's pretty funny. Tolerate. Okay, yeah, that's going to be abide. Panatellas, e.g. I feel like I've heard of this before. Panatellas. Oh, this has got to be Kristen Wiig. Yeah, nobody else would fit in here. Maybe this is a Cigarro? Is that right? Is that even a thing? Hmm. Now I'm not sure. Shoot. Tarantula Hawk. Well, maybe this is a Wasp. That would make sense. It's neither of those things. This is Tops, probably. Out of my way. Maybe that's... Stand aside? Oh my goodness, that sounds like something a villain would say. I think this has to be Cigarro. I'm still not sure if I've heard that before. Quilt say could be so. Rings around. Shouldn't that be awakes? No, that doesn't fit. Hmm. I'm really not sure about this vowel. Capital on the Daugava River. I don't know this, but I'm going to guess that it's Riga. Not relaxed could be edgy. Crew area on a cruise ship. 
crew area. Maybe that's the mess? Band with the 1991 hit Shiny Happy People. Yeah, that sounds like R.E.M. So maybe this is Sways. Oh, it's just cigars plural. Yeah, it's Panatello's plural. I need to read more carefully. Okay. Yo-Yo, that could be a name for a twit. Language whose alphabet was created by King. Oh boy, okay, let me give this a shot. Romcom Hang. Okay, that's my best guess. Uh, maybe it's Thai? Let's see if that's right. Shakespearean role with more lines than the title character. I bet that's Iago. Story. Hmm, maybe that's a tier of like a wedding cake. Info for a job posting is definitely gonna be wage. Wild thing. And this is wild with an E. So I wonder if they're talking about Oscar Wilde. Uh, wild thing. Is it lit? Like literature? I wonder. Response to a wild story. It almost feels like it wants to end in that, but that doesn't really make sense here. Unless we're talking about a bird. Hmm. Response to a wild story. Is this a C? Oh no, we didn't get to build up from this section. That's what I was hoping we'd be able to do. Hmm. It's at the end of Oedipus. Well, Oedipus is a Greek name, so maybe they're just asking about a Greek letter. That could be a sigma, right? Oh my goodness, that's tricky. Temple buildings. Is it dorms? Is that where the rabbis stay? Is that right? I don't know. This could be a D. I just don't know this name. Uh... Wait, it's box set, but there's two letters in the middle? What is this? Superfans purchase. Oh, it's a boxed set. Oh my goodness. I guess that's the right term for it. I feel like I always hear people say box set. Um, what an actor might do before the evening show. Oh, it might be a matinee, right? If it's a Sunday, that's really tricky. Uh, hmm, okay, well this starts with an M. Base of waterfalls. Hmm. Traffic sign near a jug handle. Uh, could it be no left turn? I'm still not sure what a jug handle is, but I've definitely seen that on a sign before. Not just a little sip. It really feels like this should be a gulp. Um... Hmm. Is this a G? This could be Cuba. Is this a belt? I think you can belt a drink. Maybe this could be Cuba. Um. Maybe this is, can I see some ID? This is not a request for a drink. That is so tricky. And this is mint. Yes, they do deal with a lot of change. They make change. Certain deer. I think this is does. So what's going on here? How could this be TD? Commercial fellow. Hmm. Is it a character that's on a commercial? TD. Oh, this is so weird. Meeting setting. Hmm, House of Lords members. House of Lords. Hmm, boy, I don't know. I just don't know enough about the British political system. Oh God, this is terrible. We are not sure about a lot of answers here. Response to a wild story. You did what? Oh, wild thing. Yes, he was quite the wit. He was very witty. You did what? There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm so glad we got that. Uh, is it a yap? Like a dog? A yap? Is that really what it is? T 
TDADE. That looks so weird. Commercial fellow. Uh, maybe this is mute. You could be on mute during a meeting. So maybe this is peers. I feel like I have heard of that. Oh my God. Okay, so this is not a D. Maybe it's a trader. He would be involved in commercial business. And then this is Rose. Oh my God, that's so tricky. I don't even know if I've seen that before. I must have. Wow, that's really hard though. We still don't know about this letter. Renaissance Fair title. L-I. Hmm. Mean. It's not unkind. It seems like that would be a good answer. Hmm. Nora Dunn. That seems like a plausible name. Maybe it is unkind. Could this start with a K? No left something. Hmm. I don't know. I can't think of a word that would make sense here. Tight. Well, it seems like that should be snug. Something to get rid of once it's worn. Hmm. Maybe that's a tire. This could be liege, my liege. This all seems okay. Mean. Hmm. Offering at a shrine. I guess that could be a yen if we're at a Japanese shrine. And this is going to be misty? Yeah, they would be very misty. Mean. Oh my god, it's intend. What do you mean to do? What do you intend to do? And I think we're going to have to go with our best guess here. So let's throw this D in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Saturday puzzle in just under 35 minutes. That was a really good challenge. Wow. Yeah, there were some really nice long entries today. I loved Use the Force. That's a really fun one. And Flux Capacitor. They're actually intersecting. Wow. What an amazing pop culture mashup this is. I also really loved this tricky clue for Can I See Some ID? Common request at a bar. That really made me think they were talking about a drink of some kind. This was a nice wordplay clue too. Club beginnings for tea times. I also liked these little stacks in the north and south. Stand aside, Easter eggs, no pressure, and Tweedledee. It was fun to see him crop up again. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed solving that Saturday puzzle with me. I'll give you some bonus points if you tune in tomorrow for the nice long lazy Sunday sol. Alright, I think that's gonna do it for now. I'll see you next time!